What's up guys, it's your girl Eddie Elise and I am back with another video. For those of you guys who are new here, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, but most importantly, hit that bell button so you are in tune with every single thing that I do and that I post. Um, as you guys can see by today's title, we are shooting a... One second. I'm recording! Alright, we're back. <laughs> Sorry for the slight interruption, I forgot where I left off, but basically today what we're doing, as you guys can see by the title, we are, who's we? Who's we? It's just me. I am bringing you guys a fall haul with all my fall must-haves, and yeah, we're in the midst of fall. I know I should have recorded this and put this out earlier, like, way before, but unfortunately, um... no excuses <laughs> it's here now better late than never so let's get right into it let's start off with jackets okay off rip we have a trench coat let me put it this way off rip we have a long trench coat this is a must have i think this is a timeless piece that season after season after season after season i think trenches will always be in to me it's just a timeless piece I got this thrifting. I actually thrifted this years ago, um, but I love it. It does come with a, a, an attachment for inside for like the colder days, so it keeps you a little bit more cold than just the regular trench. But I do have a trench in red. I'll put up the picture here. This is my favorite. If you guys want to see like a full on coat haul, these are not all my coats. This is just the coats that. It's only three, four coats. This is just the coats that I think are just different this season or different. Anyways, I have a lot of coats. If you want a coat haul, you let me know. I also do have a different coat haul from two years ago. I'll, I'll put that in the description so you could go look at that But um, for some inspo. And just to kind of see like if my style changed or if the trends changed because that was from two years ago. So, yeah. Trench is a must, okay? Next, we have the colored leather blazer, okay? This leather blazer, first of all, the color is to die for. By the way, green is in. That Bottega green, this is not really like the Bottega green. The Bottega green is a little bit more rich in color. This is a little light for the Bottega green. But this green, the Bottega green, just green in general, is a hit for the fall, winter. And honestly, I personally think it's going to trickle into the summer, 2022. But um, yeah, this is awesome. I freaking love this. The whole entire leather trend is popping this season especially colored leather. I have a whole bunch of like pink. I have pink leather, I have black leather, I have blue leather, I have green leather, I have red leather, like faux leather, of course. But yeah, I'm obsessed with that. Next is this puffer jacket, like this oversized type of puffer jacket. Again, I'm super obsessed with, oh wait, the green blazer I got from Princess Polly. Uh, all the stuff that I can link down below, I will link down below. If I don't have the links because of, um, like me thrifting or if it's sold out, I just won't put it down below. But if I can, I will. I believe Princess Polly still has that up and I had it in a size US 4. So I bought that in a size US 4. So this puffer I'm absolutely obsessed with. Uh, this is from Pretty Little Thing. I have yet to wear this, actually. And I got it in a size small. Oop. Okay. Okay, girl. Hold on. Hold on. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on on that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, hold on. Hold on. Um, hold on. Okay, so. Yeah. I got this in a size small. Do I wish I got this in a size medium? Absolutely. I think I could have gone with a size medium. So, I... You'll see, you obviously see how it looks on me. If you do want to go up a size, I would. But yeah. Um, also, my height measurements, all that will be in the description so you could kind of get a, a feel. 
Next, I got this jacket from Zara. It is thin, so it's not like you're either going to have to layer up or if you're in a region where it's not too cold, maybe like LA, Florida, this you could definitely do. I got this in the clearance rack and I sized up two sizes, so this is a large from Zara. I honestly don't think I'm able to find this online, but I will search. I bought it in store. If it is, again, it'll be in the description. I love, love, love this. I wore this so many times, especially in the beginning, beginning of fall, where it was like that in-between stage. This held me down. So that is it for um, jackets, but we're going to transition into vests. Okay, vests have been my favorite. Okay, I would not be living without vests this fall season. I honestly think I'm gonna push the envelope and wear vests. Literally, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to wear as long as I freaking can because I'm obsessed with vests. I have a problem, genuinely have a problem. So the first vest I got was from Target. Target. By the way guys, if you guys want me to do like a whole entire Target lookbook, comment down below because Target this season has some amazing, amazing, amazing things. So I got this freaking vest from Target. I got this in a size medium. Um, this, no, I'm lying. I got this in a size small. It does run big. This is a size small. So, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with this. Like look how freaking cute. For, for Target? It is on the thinner side though, it's not as warm. So again, this is something that you're gonna have to put a hoodie under and stuff like that. For the winter, I don't think you're gonna get away with this, but you possibly can depending on where you are, where you're located. Secondly, I have this from Pretty Little Thing. It is a faux leather and it is in like this camel color super oversized. I got this in a size medium. I'm obsessed with this. I have not yet worn this yet. Yeah, worn this yet? Okay, Eddie. I haven't worn this yet. I'm super excited to wear this. And um, yeah, fire. I got this in a size medium, like I said. Usually I do up my sizes anyways because I do like my stuff truly oversized. Next is the vest that has been holding me down the entire fall. I wear this almost every single day, I'm not kidding. It is the Dej Milan uh, puffer vest. It gives me like a Rick Owens vibe. Stuff like that. It looks so good on, as you guys can see. It goes with literally everything. No matter what you're wearing, it goes with and it's super long. This is actually really warm. It's thin, but to be honest, it is warm. For Fright Fest, I went to Six Flags, wore this with the hoodie and some leggings and boots, and I was good for the whole entire day. Not one complaint. And it also like wraps up like a scarf, so it has good insulation. So yeah, that's that for the vest category. Next is my jackets. Year after year after year, if you know me, you love you know that I love a shacket. A shacket is a shirt jacket, right? And to be honest, my favorite style of a shacket is indeed a flannel shacket. So I have some in a few different colors. This one is my OG, my go-to. This is Pretty Little Thing. I could probably still find it on Pretty Little Thing. I got it in a size six. Awesome. Love it here. And then I also got this from Pretty Little Thing. I love this color as well. I get a lot, a lot, a lot of compliments on this. Sorry for my camera if it keeps going in and out of focus. I definitely do need a new lens. And then last but not least, I got this from Princess Polly. Love, love, love this. I got this in a size small obsessed with that next I have one knit okay I was gonna bring my second knit out but it is from a very long time ago it's from Motel Rocks 
and I just can't find it, so I just decided to leave it out, although I should have brought it. Um, this knit is from Princess Polly. I got it in a medium large. It is so warm, oversized, so fluffy, so soft. I'm obsessed with this, and I think for this season, you definitely do need knit. Knit right now is so in. Like, you don't even understand. It is so in. Um, now, for matching sets, right, I think matching sets for me this season, I'm really a sweatpants girl, and I live for a matching set, like the one that I have on. The one that I have on is from BBX, BBX brand. It is a UK based brand, but as you guys can see, it has like that rib detail and you know, piping. There's piping on the sleeve. There's piping on the sweatpants. The sweatpants is a super good fit. I'm obsessed with it. But I have it in this color, and then I also have it in a like a beige-ish this color. Okay, I forgot the top at home. So we can't try that on. But I'm obsessed with it. Next for matching sets, I love, love, love tracksuits. I will never get over tracksuits. I'm obsessed with tracksuits. So for this season, I did go ahead and get, you know, an everyday Palm Angels, sorry, an everyday Palm Angels um, matching sets. The funny story about this, as you guys can see here, when I had ordered this, I thought it was the same color, but the top is more of a cream and the bottom is more of a white. But I do love like this navy color, obsessed with it. I think it's great for like every day. Uh, when I'm running my errands, I'm living in this. So going forward, <laughs> damn guys, we got a lot. I, this fall, I live for the fall and winter. Um, I love the summer because I'm a summer baby, but I go crazy with the fashion in the fall and winter. So excuse me for having so much. Um, next we're going to move on to hoodies. I only have two hoodies to show here because I left, there was three, but I left one at home. So for the first hoodie, I have this Marnie hoodie. I love graphics. You guys know I love graphics. It is oversized. Well, this is men's. I got it in a men's 30. Hold down. I got it in a men's 46. Yeah, I got it in a men's 46. But I have yet to wear this either. But here's the back. And I'm super obsessed with it. Marnie is a brand that I'm obsessed with as well. So this Marnie hoodie is an essential for me. Next is the actual essential hoodie. I got this in a size medium, a men's medium. I got it in this color and uh, the brownish color. This is like a khaki color. I got it in the brownish color. Again, I don't have it here because I left it home, but, and we're in the office. But yeah, I just love the details. If you know, you know essentials are essential. And the knitting on this is just different. You could see, really see like the knit on it, everything. And it's super warm, by the way. I thought because it was gonna be knitted, I guess it's, um double lined so it actually is really warm but next is sweatpants so going along with um, angels I ended up getting the green because again like I said green is in season actually now that I see this I could even create an outfit with this and the blazer and see how that looks like a monochrome type of look anyways so, I'm obsessed with Palm Angels. I love Palm Angels track anything. I love Palm Angels track stuff. I think their quality is amazing. So, I have it in green. And this is just a regular. Again, I'll put all the details down below. I think I bought this on Cetri or Essence. And then we also have the black. But this one's a little different because it is the quarter one. So, it doesn't go fully down. It stops right like above the ankle, which I love that like hobo chic look that it gives. And then these sweatpants I bought from Target. I absolutely love these sweatpants. One, they're white, 
but um, I love the sweatpants because they're not tapered at the bottom and I'm really into that look I think that is about to trend it's not trending just yet but especially for streetwear I think it's about to trend like that non tapered at the end vibe so yeah so that's it for actual clothing next we're gonna get into like accessories and shoes so we're gonna get into hats okay so the first hat I have is this fur hat it's huge I love it it's super warm it's actually lined with like this fleece I'm obsessed with this hat guys you don't even understand I got this on Etsy and then I also got this on Etsy this again it's lined with the same fleece so it is super warm but again this is just the cutest thing ever I love this vibrant pink it is just everything next I got this was just different to me I got this from Target it's like a hood like a knitted hood but to be honest I think it's just different and I think I would be able to make an outfit with this I still don't know exactly with what just yet but I do love this I absolutely love it and then last but not least for the hats I have my hat that is dropping Black Friday. I've dropped these before. I think in my vlog, um, my vlog back when I had the empty apartment tour, I had this on. But they are finally back. It is reversible. They are finally back. And guess what? They are dropping for Black Friday. Uh, a super limited release. Everybody asked me for them again. And I was just like, you know what? no problem i'll release it for you guys so i'm super obsessed again bucket hats are literally my thing i love bucket hats i love hats in general i also forgot a few of the hats in the car but i made a whole tiktok as you guys can see here of just fitted i love fitted if you're in new york um cap usa of harlem i'll put them down in the description i get all my fitted from there obsessed with them love them i'm obsessed with fitted so yeah next is scarves I have only two scarves that I want to show in this video so the first scarf I have is this the first scarf I have is this like a uh, graphic scarf I'm obsessed with this I got this at Topshop years ago maybe like two years ago but I think it's just so bomb it's just so bomb um, I also have this reversible, I got this on TJ Maxx last year, but I just love the color combo, this freaking gray with the beige, reversible, you could wear it however you want to wear it, you could wrap it around your head. So for the final category, it is boots. So first and foremost, I just got these, these Yeezy boots. I'm so obsessed with them, like you guys don't even understand. If you know me, you know I love Yeezy. I love Kanye. I love anything he does. But um, these are so cute. I did go up a size. I went to a size 6. I mean up two sizes. I'm usually a Yeezy size 5. But a men's 4.5. And, and I got a Yeezy size 6 in these. And they fit. So yeah. Next. I think everybody should have just like a regular pair of combat boots. I think that's kind of like timeless as well. You always need that in your closet. And these are from Prada. I love them. They are lined with fur, so they do keep me warm in the winter. Next, I have these combat boots, another combat boot, but they are in this like green military color that I'm so obsessed with. These are from Miu Miu. I'm obsessed with this and it's okay because I genuinely love these these are my favorite I could wear these all day every day so yeah I got these from Miu Miu and then last but not least is these boots they're giving me Bottega vibes but they are not Bottega these are public desire I got them last year last season um, I love these these are my go-to I have them in black as well but they're super comfortable 
and I just love this colorway as well, especially. So yeah. So thank you guys for everybody who's still watching. It's been a long, long, long video. But if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below anything else I should do, anything else I should cover, what you guys want to see from me. It'll really help me because sometimes I get into like this rut where it's like, okay, what do I record? So if you want me to if you want me to style any of these pieces or whatever the case may be, just let me know down below. Also, go follow my Instagram because I'm going to be posting pictures throughout the fall and winter and all of these so that if I don't do a video styling them, you at least can see me style them on Instagram because I will be taking a picture in all of these and posting them on my gram. So follow me at Eddie Elise and thank you guys so much. Love you guys. See you guys next time.